Today we are going to create a mesh eye. We've got this nice uh, Spider-Man mask off of do3d.com, but the free file uh, that I'll link below comes with a solid eye. So it's got, it's got the mask, it's got this piece that goes over the top of that, and then it's got a solid eye. And we want to be able to wear this as a mask, uh, so we need to convert this into a mesh that you can see through. So uh, we have a file going on the printer right now that we'll pull off from Budwin. I'll link that below uh, for this mesh right here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to lay it over the top of this and then hit it with heat gun. So first thing we want to do is cover this whole thing with foil. This is PLA as well that I printed in. And so it has a chance of melting. Uh, the mesh is pretty thin though, so the mesh should melt first. So we're going to put foil over this, smooth it down real nice. And then we're going to throw this in the freezer. That'll give us a better chance of success as well. So this is going to go in the freezer and we're going to let that come down at temp for a minute. And then we'll be right back. We'll get the file off the printer and get going. We are back and we've got our mesh off the 3D printer here. Uh, the eye is still sitting in the freezer. We're going to cut this. We're basically going to take that eye out last minute. We're going to cut this to get us a piece that's pretty close to the size. Um, and this is that nice file by Bud one that'll help us do it. And we're going to preheat it a little bit. Let's get this out of our way. We're going to preheat it a little bit on this. And that way, when we drop it onto the eye, this will be pretty close to being up to temp. And then uh, we won't melt the PLA plastic eye. So let's grab this piece out of the freezer here. Drop it right there, and I'll get the heat gun plugged in. We'll get that going. Mm. Obviously, you'll be careful with your heat gun. Don't burn yourself. These things can get pretty hot if you set it to high, but this PLA has a pretty low melting temp, which is nice. I'm just gonna get this going. And give it a feel. Yep, it's starting to get there already. Wow. I'm going to go like that. No, I'm going to go ahead and set that on the eye. That's going there. Oh, yeah. That's kind of nice. Okay. And if I can, what I'm going to try to do is actually hold it over the edge of that eye. Let's see what I can do here. because it doesn't look like much but when we trim this up I'll, I'll show you how it ends up it'll come out real nice just got to give it that shape so it'll actually fit in to the eye we're working on black frame okay we're actually going to call it at that set that off to the side so then what we're going to do next is we're going to grab a marker and we're going to go through and we're going to outline this thing. Uh, then we'll trim it up and we'll see how it fits. So I went ahead and cut off that tab that was hanging over the edge. But if we take this and we just draw around it. So we take our scissors, follow that line, and again fade to the outer edge we can come back and adjust so let's just nip off a bunch of that so, but the idea is that it will fit inside of this piece right here there's just a little tab right there for it to go on and a little tab towards the back so we've got a little bit of extra trying to do i think the best way to do that we're going to take this piece out of here like this since we know that this piece fits into that spot and then we can get our exact trim, final trim this way. We could probably come at this with drum wire sander at the end, maybe to clean it up, but I don't think we need to. It's fine. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Here, like this. 
We've got a real nice fit. See that? See that? So then we'll super glue this piece into uh, into here. This mask actually has interchangeable eyes, so it's got magnet spots in the back of this. I still am going to clean this up and paint it a bit, but um, got some magnet spots so you can come and go with your eyes. But that'll glue in just like that. Look how nice that came out, right? Perfect. So uh, this is going to go for my my five year old. He's been waiting on this helmet, and. Uh, He's going to be really excited about this. So I'm really happy with that. Um, one of the things I was thinking actually as I was doing this is that would look really cool if I use some of my glow in the dark filament. So I'm actually run a second set of these, um, maybe a, a, the full eye um, in glow in the dark, because I think you'd find that really cool if I got that in. Um, the other thing is if you don't like the shape of it or if it looks a little weird, you can always come back after you get it glued in and draw a clean line on the white with a black sharpie and that'll make that line look really nice but i'm really happy with that um, i need to do the other eye so i'll end up printing out uh, the other piece of this uh, i have some more of this mesh i printed a piece big enough the file big enough from budwin um, right off the right off the printer to do both of these so um, i'm pretty excited about this turned out great so hopefully you learned a little bit of something um, we'll keep pushing out more videos we're doing a a, a big iron man build so uh go check that out as well uh, thanks for joining us today